Using the scalar product to find the angle between the two given vectors. Let's suppose you're given two vectors, A with components minus 2, 4, and B with components 7, 6. And I asked you to find uh, the angle that is formed between these two vectors. The first thing you should think of is the scalar product because in the geometric formula for the scalar product A dot B is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle between them. And that's what that's exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for cosine theta. Actually what we're looking for is theta, but we'll solve for theta later. Um, so what we need is the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B. Magnitude of A, we can find it using the component. It's simply the square root of negative 2 squared plus 4 squared, and that's 4 plus 16, 20 square root, and the magnitude of B is 7 squared plus 6 squared square root, and that gives us 49 plus 36, let's do that quickly over here, 49 plus 36. So that's 85 square root and and so now what we have is the square root of 20 times the square root of 85 times cosine of theta is equal to our is equal to a dot b our scalar product the other thing we know is that the scalar product is equal to, algebraically, x1 times x2 plus y1 times y2. So the product of the x component plus the product of the y component. Now if this is x1, and if this is y1, and this is x2, and this is y2, then the scalar product is negative 2 times 7 plus 4 times 6, and that's minus 14 plus 24, and that gives us 10. So 10 is equal to this on the right hand side because both of these formulas are the formulas for scalar product and these are both the same vectors so we should have their these two equations equal to each other so 10 is equal to square root of 20 times square root of 85 times cosine of theta now let's divide both sides by the square root of 20 and the square root of 85 so that we can get rid of them from the right hand side square root of 20, square root of 85, and what we're left with on the right hand side is cosine theta is equal to, and let's find out what this is on the calculator. We have 10 divided by bracket 20 square root times 85 square root, close bracket, equal. And that gives us 0 0.24. So here we have 0 0.24. And now to find theta, I take the cosine inverse on both sides. So the cosine inverse of 0 0.24 is equal to theta, and that gives us theta equals so uh, 0 0.24 I'm going to take the inverse cosine equals 
point one one seventy six point eleven degrees. So the angle that's formed between the two vectors a and b is seventy six point eleven degrees.